Hello, everyone. Today, we are going to be talking about how to create the best infographic for Pinterest. As you know, Pinterest is a visual search engine, so it's important that you have a different, different variety of graphics on your Pinterest account. You can have the long images that are you, when you're using your keywords, leading back to your blog post. You can upload your images from, from Instagram to Pinterest videos. So today we're talking about infographics. Infographics are a great piece of media to make for your Pinterest account and can really help drive traffic back to your website. So you can create an infographic around a blog post, around a service. So here are five, here's a five step system to follow to create the best infographics for Pinterest. So number one, picking the right topic. Does it relate to your business? What topics are in your industry that you can you talk about that your, your audience would find um, interesting? What is a topic that you're passionate about? What data do you want your audience to receive from that infographic? And can you tell stories? So picking the topic and that plan of what is the purpose of this infographic going to be? Number two, be creative. So if you're using Canva, Canva has some great infographic templates that you can use to create this eye-grabbing, very valuable infographic that your audience is going to want to click on, learn more, and head over to your website. So get creative with it. Use your brand colors. Try a different, you know, a couple different infographic templates as well to see which one's getting more engagement. Make sure you're keeping it simple. Um, you know, you'll notice with, with infographics when there's too much information, it's just a little overwhelming and people can't follow, you know, along with it. So keep it simple and clean. Make sure you stick to your points. So whether that's three points or five points, stick to the points, that purpose of that infographic to make sure that people are receiving that information you want them to receive. Number four, kind of going back to the same keep it simple but make sure that the look and feel of it so it's clean the fonts are clear the fonts are large enough so people aren't squinting that they can read everything that you're using your brand colors that your brand logo is on there and if you are if you have any sources you pulled information from a source make sure you list those sources on the bottom of that infographic as well so this is something, a piece of media that you can use over and over again. So if you're creating these infographics, this can be an evergreen piece of content. So that's something to think of. And then the last thing is the size. So you want to make sure that you have the image, you know, longer and wider. So when people are on Pinterest, they can look at it from their mobile device, from their screen, and it is clear to them. So infographics should be about 735 pixels wide and under 20, 2000 pixels long. And again, if you're using Canva, they have different sizes that you can go ahead and use from, you know, use their templates. The cool thing about um, if you're using um, Canva is that you can then take that infographic and you can turn it into maybe four images square images for Instagram and Facebook. So you can share that Pinterest, resize it, and then be able to share it out to your other social media platforms as well, linking back to that blog post or service on your website. So infographics, again, a great way to drive that traffic to your website on Pinterest. Make sure that it is clear of what that infographic is. Maybe it's um, a simple how-to, you know, like step one, step two, type of a thing. It can be, you know, lifestyle hacks. So just make sure you have in your mind that vision and what you want the outcome of that infographic to be. If you need help creating infographics or just putting that strategy together for Pinterest for your business, let us know. Head on over to socialspeaknetwork.com today and you can schedule a free 30-minute consultation and let's see if we can figure out a strategy for you. If you have any questions, let us know. We look forward to connecting with you. Bye.